A young man with a promising future died in a tragic accident today. That 17-year-old was driving when he crashed with a semi-truck carrying cattle. Now, this happened this morning on State Route 347, which is just about two miles south of State Route 238. That's near the town of Maricopa. CBS 5's Donna Rossi is there now live. Donna? Well, the initial impact happened at that intersection, but the weight of the semi and the weight of the load that it was carrying pushed both vehicles about 150 feet down 347. This is where both vehicles came to a stop with wheels up in the air. Vehicle struck, uh, flipped over, and came to rest where you see them in the roadway. All it takes is a quick glance at the aftermath to know that this was an extremely violent crash. Investigators believe this white pickup turned in front of a semi pulling a fully loaded trailer carrying 32 head of cattle. The 17-year-old male driver of the truck died at the scene. You know, Maricopa is still a small enough community that, uh, yeah, this kind of event is widely felt. The teen's name has not been released, but we do know he had strong connections to Maricopa High School. The crisis team was made available to the high school students and staff all day today and will be available tomorrow uh, from 9 to 11 at the high school as well. The driver of the semi was up and talking, but transported to the hospital to get checked out. We're going to work this investigation backwards like we typically do when it involves a fatality as a homicide. We're going to determine uh, at fault if possible. We're going to determine impairment if possible, whether it be from the decedent or the person driving the other vehicle. Ten of the 32 head of cattle either died in the crash or had to be put down because of injuries. Initial reports indicate the 17-year-old was not wearing a seatbelt. The saying is seatbelt saved lives. So who, who would have known what would have truly taken place if the, if the individual was wearing a seatbelt? There is just no way of knowing until an autopsy is done if a seatbelt would have made any difference at all. State Route 347 was restricted for nearly the entire day. Traffic is back up and running now, but the city of Maricopa is just beginning to grieve. Reporting live in Maricopa, Donna Rossi, CBS 5 News. Okay, Donna, thank